Hi guys, welcome back to the Cassie Project. So today we're going to be taking it outside. We are going to be making an easel, especially to hold my paintings and drawings. Let's do this. So here we are, we are outside and ready to go. I have got some help from my <laughs> husband today, um, mainly to uh, pull apart a pallet. So we never buy wood, we only ever get pallet wood because it's free and it's awesome. So this palette in particular was really awesome because it was so lightweight. You never get lightweight palettes. So this was such a find and I needed it light because if it's going to sit on my lap, I don't want a big heavy box on me. So what I've done is cut four pieces of wood and I think I did it around 40, 45 centimetres long. Um, basically because I wanted it to be able to have my A3 uh, sketchbook on there, landscape or portrait, so I've done it big enough for that. Um, so I've put four pieces of wood together into a square and then I'm going to pop that on some chipboard and mark out the size of it so that it's got a chipboard base. <laughs> Now I always get Tom to use the jigsaw because for some reason, even though I'm really good at precision and miniature painting and all things like that, I can't cut a straight line to save my life. It drives me insane. So I never use the scissors. Tom always does the cutting. I think mainly because he had so much practice as a TA um, <laughs> he can cut straight lines, but I just can't. So same with the jigsaw, I let him do that. Um, now I'm securing the chipboard into place using uh, some screws, always pre-drilling first of course, and we have something that looks like a drawer. I've cut more pieces of pallet wood to be the, the top. And then I'm using two supporting bits to keep all those bits together. So there we go, we've got the top bit and we're going to attach that to the box. So I'm going to be using some hinges to do this. They are called one inch butt hinges, that's right, butt hinges. And uh, I'm just going to attach one side of it to the lid and one side of it to the box. Okay, we've almost finished the construction part of this, so we're going to attach a lip to the bottom so that when the sketchbook is sat on there at an angle, it's not going to slip off. So I used three little bits of trim that I found spare, attached them together to create this little platform like so. Now to create the hinge type thing to support the lid when it's at an angle. So I've got a block, I put a hole in the block, stick a broomstick into that and then I use that to attach the hinge. Hey. Excuse me. And then I attach that to the box and that creates the, um, the support. So now on to sanding. Of course it wouldn't be complete if I didn't add some customization so I'm painting the whole box white and then I'm going to be using these adorable little napkins and decoupaging them onto some of the slats of the wood. 
I decided to go with a white and green theme to go with my desk that I've created. If you haven't seen me decoupaging before, check out one of my other videos where I go into more detail. Uh, but basically I'm using PVA glue to stick it on down and then I'm using a matte decoupage glue um, to seal it all in. And you know I love a good edit, so <laughs> boom. Thank you. 